Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we we are unboxing my drone that I got last week. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, it's a vlog. Go check it out. So let's get into the unboxing. So over here I have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card with an adapter, um, just in case because I don't know if it requires an SD card or micro. So looking at the box, we see the um, drone on it. The um, Propellers say warning just because you don't want to hit them. You can see the camera there. Um, I will be getting some footage of me flying it from below and of the drone flying uh, using the camera. So going over to the back, very similar picture. We can see that it has some gears right there, not focusing too well. But you can also see the remote control. And then the sides just have the brand, like so. So let's open this up. Looks like the tape already come up came undone and we have to open it this way so opening it up oh it looks sweet so the remote control is a lot better than I thought it also comes with these protective um, foam squares that look really squishy but they're actually quite firm um, they are squishy though so in here we also have a cord probably for charging the remote mm -hmm. we have a micro uh, screwdriver um, for opening it up and putting the batteries in maybe and then here um, I'm not sure what this is it looks like a cord adapter of some sort maybe it could be something to the batteries it could be for ch it part of the charging cord so pulling out the drone not going to be as easy as it looks there are uh, some twist ties Oops, some stuff fell out um, I will have to go and get my pocket knife uh, so I will be right back. Okay, so I grabbed the scissors. I'm just going to get my pocket knife, but I couldn't find it, but it doesn't matter. So cutting the twisty ties, they have a, or zip tie, sorry. They have a very weird angle, so it's a bit hard to get them. There are two of them, it looks like. Here yeah. we go. And then here are uh, extra propellers, it looks like. Um, but starting off, looking at the back, it, um, we can see the camera there, um, appears to be on, oh, it comes with an SD card, micro SD card, and this is 4 gigabytes, so I will definitely be replacing that, um, but, that, uh, but good to know that it comes with one. So, next we see that it has some green and red lights, it looks like, um, then here are the propellers, uh, they're turned by gears here, as you can see. Very, very light. Um, so, pulling out the extra um, propellers, be careful when doing this because they uh, pr are probably very delicate. And then, here, the last thing in the box is the uh, protection or the case, sort of, for the propellers. I don't know exactly what it's for, but I'm going to put it on. It could help with fly. I don't exactly know. Um, yeah, so let's pull this out. I okay, got those. Uh, make sure you don't lose these screws right here. I think they're, they are the ones that uh, do not come out, though. Um, but I'm not going to try to see because they are very small. Okay, so that's everything in there. And here are the instructions. So instruction manual. Pretty, um, pretty long. Uh, I will have to read this before doing it, um, but yeah. Okay, so I have the batteries into the remote, and I have the battery for the dr actual drone itself charging, so let's put on these things. It should be pretty easy. Um, let me just put the camera on the tripod real quick. Okay, so now what uh, we do, I think... Uh, is put those on like so and we grab the screwdriver it came with which should be around here somewhere um, here it is and this does look very big for the screw but it will fit as you can see I like that it comes with the tools that you uh, need Okay, so there's all the guards on. Um, it took me about two minutes to do it, so it doesn't take too long. Um, also, to get the battery out to charge, um, it comes like this. 
and you simply pull the, uh, the camera back and you open it up you can it the battery sits right in there and you just pull it out it comes out all the way and you can charge it so i will go get the battery and we will try uh to fly this but i'm very new to drones so okay i'm back with um actually several days later i did switch cameras so sorry about the quality but i'm back with everything that it comes with what they do and then how to work it <coughs> So first stop, obviously it comes with the drone. Now it does not come with the guards attached. You did see me attach them though. Um, and then down here we have the camera connected by wires. It also comes with a 4 gb SD card, micro SD card in the camera. I switched it out for a 32 gb SD card in the camera. Now to get to the battery, because when you get it, it is disconnected. All you, all you sim have to do is simply put, do, well first off don't push like this. Don't push on the lens of the camera. That will get a fingerprint on the camera, also won't be is, is too good for it. <coughs> so what you're going to have to do is push two fingers on each side and it'll come out like that. Then you just lift it up and you'll see something like this with the cord disconnected. Now it does come pre-charged, so all you have to do is connect it into the little hole like so, hopefully you can see. There's the hole. Um, now if yours doesn't come pre-charged, I could be wrong on that. Um, because I did charge it before, but not only for like five minutes, so I could be wrong on that. Um, but to get out, um, first off, don't force it because it can't, the edges can get stuck. So what you're going to have to do, if it doesn't come out real easy, like if it doesn't come out real easy, you can see that's a bit crooked. All you need to do is straighten it out and pull it out, but do not force it. Also, you can buy all, everything that it comes with in bulk, it, um, including the body of the drone. Um, I don't know about the remote, though. Um, also, you can get separate bodies for the drone. You can get it in black, I think, um, in different colors, if uh, I remember correctly. So, there's also an on-off switch here that's very simple. Um, now, I would recommend using your fingernail, not putting it in the middle, but on the side, because otherwise it can hurt your finger, because it's actually quite sharp and little. Um, so, now it comes with the remote. On the back, you, you have to unscrew the screw with the screwdriver it came, and then pull down on this knob here, take it off. It requires four AA, I think, if I remember correctly, and then we'll get into the controls later on. It also comes on the remote two protective um, foam squares so, so that just for protection and it'll come like this so next up we have this orange thing I have not figured out what it is for but I do not find it to be necessary it looks almost like in some sort of SD to USB adapter maybe um, I can actually try that it might be an adapter for the micro SD card into a USB uh, 2.0 maybe, uh, but that will fit onto your computer most likely. Um, then it comes with the charging cord. Uh, it's a USB charging charging cord. I'm sure you can get adapters so you can plug it into the wall. And now co to connect it, you simply um, take the two white ends and line it up so you can see both metal ends. And then you can simply slide it on in. Wait, I might have it. Oh, sorry, I have it backwards. Um, one end will be the metal end, the other will be the other end, and it, whoops, it just slides in like that. Um, and it's pretty secure, um, but I wouldn't test it in any sort of way. Um, it also comes with four extra propellers in case they break, because they are very fragile. They feel almost like, um, milk carton, uh, plastic, only more fragile, and then it also comes with a micro screwdriver, so that you can unscrew and screw in everything. So now going over the controls for the remote. Let me just get a better angle. So first off we have the on off switch which is here. Up is on, it'll beep and then this blue light will flash and then down is off. Now I'm going to be doing it off because I'm not actually flying the drone and I don't want to waste the battery. But we'll start off with the two joysticks. This one here that does not spring back when going it up or down as you can see here this one does but this one doesn't 
um, this is the accelerator. So the farther up it is, the more juice you're giving it. The, it all the way down is totally off. I find to get it about 10 feet off the ground, it's usually about mid, um, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more. Um, then this is the direction controller, so up is forward, down is backward, and then the sides. Um, but be careful because with the direction of the drone, if it's not facing the exact same direction of you, it can get pretty confusing. And now side to side with this joystick thingy over here, as you can see, it does in fact spring back. This is for turning the drone around in a 360 degree radius. No, not radius, that's the wrong word. Um, but when you do that, it, say you're put, say it's facing the same way you are, like I, like this. So let me just grab it. Say you move this joystick to the right, it's going to turn to the right. Say you move it to the left, it's going to turn to the left. Hopefully you could see all that. So next, um, and this can, can also help you get uh, the same direction. Next we will go over how to turn on and off the video camera and how to take pictures. So there sadly is no indicator for whether you are recording or not. Um, with the camera, but with the pictures, it's just a one-time thing, so you push it up, it'll beep, that's a picture taken, you can do that as long, as many times as you want, whereas with the video, you push it down, it starts, you push it down again, it stops. So that's this button right here. The rest of these three slides are the fine-tuning, so if it's, if you stop, say you stopped going forward, but still going forward, you press this up, I think. You either press it up or down, I can't remember. But that's basically a double check to see what controls you are doing. This can also help you a little bit to get out of the wind, but I would recommend just dropping it a little bit and then going up because we actually had an experience where it got caught in the wind and it almost went into the road. It actually went over the road from several, several yards away. Um, so that's the same for this. This is um, left and right, and then I think... Wait, no, this is, this might be up and down, and this might, I forget, but these are also fine-tuning, um, these three here. So then we get down to here. These, uh, little black, uh, oval-shaped thingies look like buttons, but you actually can't press any of them down. And then this, um, I'm not really sure, but I think it actually might be an alternative, uh, way to control it, because I'm going over mode one. I have not tried mode 2, I think this might be the steering for mode 2, um, which I have not done. I've kept it in mode 1, I don't even want to know how to ch change it to mode 2, um, because I've just gone so used to mode 1. And then when we turn it on, you'll see the screen here, and this will show you exactly how, um, how far up your accelerator is by this bar here. Also that uh, 2 time beep, 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 was it connecting. So it's connected, and this uh, this middle area here will show you which direction you're going in. Um, now I do not find much of this necessary except one thing, and that's low. This is, and that's the high or low indicator for actually two things: high or low indicator um, of speed. That is this button right here to toggle it to high or low speed. Um, it beeps every time you do. So right now. Hopefully the camera is focusing. You can see a little L near the top right corner. But when I press the button, just above it, it changes to an H. And then just if I press it again, just below it, it changes back to the L. Um, and then the battery indicator right next to it. This is not the battery indicator for the drone. This is the battery indicator for the remote. Okay, and then we have one last control, which is the top. Let me get to just the camera, sorry which is this top right button here. Now when you hold this down and try to steer, well, first off, loud beeping, but when you hold it down and try to steer, it will make it do a flip in that direction. So that is the control, so let's head back to me trying to fly it for the first time. Now if you guys want to see me fly experience with some cool flips and stuff like that, then let me know and I can post some extra videos this week on that. Okay, so when you uh, turn it on, you see these lights uh, start flashing. So let's go outside and attempt flying this.